That's introverted <laughs> intuition. It's a weird. It's a weird title. Uh, yeah. Introverted intuition. It's. It's a. It's I think a, it suits the sound of his, his sound of his music. Right, and he's maybe he's even his characters. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not. He's like, a weird guy. Like what? What is this album cover? I don't even. It's like a footprint on sand. So you know, he's very ambiguous mm-hmm. from the get. Um, Lance Skywalker, a member of TDE, one of the most unrecognized ones. Yep. Our mainstream does not know who this man is. A lot of people said he sounded like J-Rock on the hooks. You wouldn't even know he's there. He's a man behind a lot of the, lot of the hooks. We're going to get right into it, unless you're trying to say something else. Introverted, Hell no, nah, let's get into introverted it. Introverted intuition, Lance Skywalker. This is the reaction to it. Hey. Don't know what to expect. This is Forbidden Fruit Track 1. Let's fucking go. We've got the birds chirping. We've got the choir doing in the sun. Sounds like a didgeridoo. That's the intro? That's that's the intro track. No it's lyrics. Gonna those, it's going to be one of those albums where it just track, track. Yeah, it, it's just dead stop to the next one. Which um, is like the albums that I really fucking like. You don't even realize. Like, I wouldn't even know that's the next track. No, 100%. And uh, that's Forbidden Fruit. And um, very. I like the production. I do like I like the build up. I, I was feel waiting like, for Mick Jenkins to come in. Yeah, yeah, I was the same. I was like, I was like, if this doesn't drop soon, I'm gonna get a little bored. But then it dropped, and it wasn't too long. It was just setting the pace. I think the, I think this is a good way to start off because it's pretty much saying you're not gonna expect what's coming next because the way that it switched up was very different. Mm, I think it's exactly what it's gonna heavy. try to go for with this album. All right, next track, Ni Radio. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Hey, he's a weird guy. Too. I hear MJ Radio. <laughs> Skywalker Radio, that is. <laughs> Where we play all oh, oh, tricks. Oh, and we got a newcomer on the way. Yeah, we don't really give a fuck what you say. Bro, it's, it's, like, go, it's gone. I don't it's even like want to touch it. It's like an intro after the I intro. I don't even want to touch it. Like it's going. Like the production is still going to wow. the end. I don't even want to pause it. The first three tracks sound like the exact same track, and the next track I've heard already. It's one of yours. Is that could it be? Yeah, it's could it be. Great track. Oh, you heard it? Love it. We yeah. have finally heard Lance's voice. It's on the yep. second. Okay. I actually. I don't, how often do you hear that? An intro after an intro. Nah, no, man. It was more like this is my music intro to take you off guard, and now this is who I am, and now to the music. Because this is an actual track. Could it be? I don't know. Could it be? I don't know. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> can, can you bring your way back over here again? Just gotta keep it over this. I don't know. Hey, what's the name? Joe Sweet Kiss. Yo, say it. Say it, baby, can we tip? So, so I guess when you buy, buy, wait. Hey, we have. I like the production. I'm going to some Isaiah Rashad, Rashad oh, vibes on here. And he Smooth. sounds exactly like J-Rock at times as well with his voice. Like when he goes, do 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 And that's, that's, that's when he does, yeah, yeah. Man. Put a beep. Ooh. Not bad, man. I love that track. And the switch up is just, oh, and right into the next one. Into it, this is the first single for the album. And it's the one that's very different. It's got to be of a death. Speed or could it be? It. Speed. Okay, Speed was heard... the first track. Could it be was the third one. I've heard Speed, Could It Be, and there's one of the track, the three singles he released. Okay. I don't think I've heard this either. This one is very different than the track you just heard. I don't know if you'll like this one, but I fucking love this track. All right. Well, Could, well, could It Be was smooth. It was nice. I like to switch up through the middle. Mm. Um, let's hit it. Speed. Woo! Are you distorted? Yep. Where do you go with this? I love what he's doing so far, man. Like, it's just... I'm a party, I'm a dancer, I'm a party now. Swing all around me as a party mo. Oh, 
production throughout that. Man. It's so different as well, like, because if you listen to it in an open space, you're not going to get the same speed. In the headphones, no, like, yeah. it's constantly moving. The distortion, yeah. instead of being everywhere, it's just, like, so centered compared to everything else that's going I on. I noticed that from the get, from, from track one, you know, headphone use mm. is needed to Definitely. experience that different different depth of the, of the sound. Um, yeah. So, I haven't heard anything much like this before. And this is two tracks in a row where he's switched the beat up in the middle as well and switched his vocal layering as well. Like, mm. And he, it's like he relayered everything. Mm. Like he, he went like nothing. He, yep, nothing. Distortion. Building it back up a bit. You're like, okay, it's going to come back in layer, layer, and layer, layer, then layer. everything's changed again. And you can hear that faint distortion in the back though. Mm. I like that. That's dope. This is Stockholm featuring Michael Anthony. Right. I heard this. Let's go. Hello? Oh, the dial-up tone? Dialogue tone. It's just so different. A lot of sounds, a lot of different. It almost sounds like he's dying. Really? Or like he's drowned or something. It just feels like something's just going on and everything's just fading away. Like slowly. There's just so much going on and he just can't put what he wants to hold on to. Baby, let me tell you something. Where did that come? Same track? Um, Stockholm. Um, uh, that's the first half. I wasn't. I wasn't a big fan, but I think it's just because it's more definitely artistic, and there's definitely a meaning to it within the album. Coming a lot of ways, I couldn't really hear what he was saying. Yeah, everything was sort of. He kept adding like little like layers and taking yeah. certain ones away, like, and then just sort of trying to really focus on something. But it's like, and it's like I couldn't. It, I couldn't fully focus. He just hits it. It's, yeah. like, it's like symbolic of like maybe he found something. Like well, that's what I felt when I was listening there. I was trying to just pinpoint something. I couldn't the whole time. And then you're right. It just changed. And I was like, oof. I feel like instant. artists sometimes do that just for if just solely for themselves. It's it's like a moment where you know where you just get it. Yeah. I don't know. You just find something uh, symbolic of like a positive change. It's suddenly happening. Everything's clear. And that's kind of what I felt in that song. Mm. This is uh, sound. Whew, keep it going. What the hell? Baby, I know what the hell? hell? You know what's the second sound? But baby, I'm trying to say, this feeling is more than me. And honestly, <laughs> Bro, we did this like Toy Story. We did this Toy Story. <laughs> this is fucking Toy Story soundtrack. <laughs> I wonder what the fuck is going on right now. <laughs> Even with that last bit with the birds, the... the very last bit of that song, the birds were on beat with the symbols. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> this is. Holy man. shit! This is like this is like an art piece. This is like some yeah. some creative. Like I don't know. I don't want to just really label creative. it creative when it's when it's just because it's different this is definitely an album you go back to a few times and also an album where you go you look at you find Lance and what he the reason behind this album why he did it and each track like you want to know like you're going to take something totally different to what the artist is thinking probably I'm just it's just it's, it, I don't know I don't even know if I'm if I'm like really enjoying. It, if I'm just more ha surprised at everything going yeah, on. Yeah, like like you're definitely you're definitely challenging me as a yeah. listener to pay yeah. attention and to hear something new and different. This is uh, all stops. Yeah, this is good. All stops. All stops. I think I heard this one. This is the other single. All I'm stops. Sure. Uh, stopping at um. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on. At the station. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's go. Yeah, this one's this the. This is like, to go from the birds as well, to this, this is back to the music we heard before. Yeah, this is the, yeah, the third, the third one. Yeah. This is probably my favourite, my favourite single actually. Of all the tracks, this is my favourite one I've heard. It's just so beautiful. The whole video clip is just like him like, on a plane, just noticing everything going by the window. It's really cool. I like the outro, but I don't know what's going on. I don't know what he's. I, I don't know what he's doing. I love this track. Tell because, me why you love it. Because the first, the whole track's pretty much him just naming places in America. Okay, cool. And then he's saying, "Feeling exhausted, feeling exhausted," oh. and the way that the beat switches up and goes a bit, and that's why there's the distortion there, and that's why he switches it and it gets slower, mm -hmm. and he keeps saying things. But he keeps saying things slower with us. Ever, it's him just saying like, 
like all of this traveling and just this and everything. It's just like making him just feel like like he just isn't going anywhere. Like it's, it's just continuously happening. Like so, pretty much what he's talking about. The music is matching it perfectly. That's why I have so like. That's why I love this track so much. I understand, but why is he um, why is he uh, why is he traveling so much? He's not touring. Maybe he's with TDE. Maybe he's part of the sound crew. Because huh. I feel like he's been doing stuff with TDE for a while. So okay, well, maybe there's something else behind it. I don't know. Like I said, I, I just really want to get after this album, Lance, like track for track, what his what his view on the Lance. We got to get you in the studio. We'll pay for the flight. See, him. okay, I don't know about that, but we'll um, <laughs> we gotta get you in the studio and see what the fuck's going on. This is a skit slash her song. Alrighty. Hi, mister, excuse me. I, I came out the woman's wife room and I came across your number and your name and number. I'm sorry. Sounds like some shit you would make. No shit. And, uh, I, I, was, I was just wondering. I think you and I should get along. Can, can I call you sometime? Let's carry out the room, man. Please? Well, why not? I just want to dance, baby. This <laughs> one, so what? The gas. Oh. I guess I can walk away. I'm not a creep. Am I? <laughs> God. The production's Please. funky. Please play her songs Every time. I just don't know what the fuck Please this is. Another track. Please no, it's not. Please it's another track. Same track. So I do not fly to take her home. Whoa. Whoa. Can I just say, Whoa. I don't know how you feel, but I'm, I'm, this is definitely an album that I'm going to go home to and listen to it again and again, because there's a lot going on. Yeah, I'd definitely put it on the background and listen to it again, but Lance is, Lance is solidifying himself as one of the weirdest guys within this genre. Yeah. I don't even know what... I don't, this isn't hip-hop, this is a, No, this is, this is not... This is, a, this is just experimental we, R&B. We've gone outside of yeah. any this genre This is more weirder right than now. Danny Brown. I'm saying it right now. <laughs> Attraction. Let's go. I was expecting a beat switch, but not this one apparently. Huh? I was expecting a beat switch, but not on this one. It's not as often. Uh, you look like you're struggling, man. I just... That made me, like, kind of fall asleep. But that's not a bad thing, you know? I could listen to that stuff trying to fall asleep. <laughs> I, I, I was loving that beat. That beat was great. Was that him with high-pitched vocals? Or was that know, someone else? I don't know who the fuck Lance Skywalker is. I don't know what he sounds like. I could not identify him on a track if I tried. So yeah. many different, like, vocals. I could be like, man, is that Lance? But is, is that I, think, I think that's the whole thing behind the Lance. Is that you? I think that's him saying, I'm just going to try and do so many sounds and have so many voices that you're never going to know what the fuck you're hey, going to expect and who the fuck I am. Congratulations. This is... This, this is, 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 is why this is really special, in my opinion, because it's something that not many people have done. You're right. But I'm excited to see this feature on here. It's Toaster. It's called Toaster. Okay. Featuring Schoolboy Q. Oh, here we go. The so first, I, the first big feature. I wonder how he's gonna What's blend, Q in, gonna, blend you know, in with it. He's probably just gonna be in the background going yak, yeah. yak, yak. Oh, that's it. That's it. Hopefully, he's more than some ad libs. We're gonna end the night okay. with these last words. Back to the radio, sort of. Thing. Enjoy life. What the fuck is Q gonna do? <laughs> yeah. Me fell in love with Diamond Boulder My favorite girl, me Mary Mona One hit the lucky charm and I'm Ain't hey, gotta hold the cuff Was that true? Yeah, that was true Is that true? That was true That's his picture, that's it <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You Bro, I want to keep that that transition. That's done. Is that that track? That tra yeah, that's done. Q had like two lines on that track. Bro, why even bother putting that as a feature? I, I liked it though. I oh no, that was that was funky. I know. Was cool. I don't remember ever hearing him sing like that on that type of production. Uh, not no production, but he has done like um on the track uh, Anderson Park. Uh, Am I wrong? Oh, he okay. has a bit of a singing voice. He has okay. a singing verse on that. So I actually like totally it. Really. I actually fuck with that track. I love that track. Oh. Right, right. Yeah. All these tracks are short, man. Short, punchy, in yeah, and out. Yeah, He's definitely going for a distinct, a distinct style. Advantage. Just, that's a nice transition. That's nice. Cool. That's nice. Oh, it's yeah. so quick. So many sounds there. I don't know what the fuck that is. No, 
no, bro, you can't just do that shit. Yeah. What the fuck is that shit? Yes. What is this, like some oh. Mexican? I don't even know what the fuck. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. You need music, man. You can really oh, 100%. Want. What? What? Drop the, drop the bass, drop the, drop the drum. Hit me with a drum. I want a drum! Lance! You can really build this thing. But he doesn't want it because that's the expected thing to do. Fuck. Now he's bringing this in like, yeah! He's, he's doubling down on it. <laughs> Straight into the next track again. Yeah, advan that was advantage. You didn't think I didn't think that was gonna break down, bro. That like, was great. <laughs> two, two things. That switch up was the biggest switch up I heard on the whole album. And it wasn't even a smooth transition. It was just like, it was just like bam. Like you just put on the fuck next it. track. He was just like, fuck it. I'm just gonna do this because why the fuck not? <laughs> <laughs> and then I wanted a drum in the end, man. I wanted a drum. You wanted it so bad. And I was you, like, you got it, man. I was got to a point where I didn't expect a drum, and then he finally hit with the drum in the last thirty seconds. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you gonna do it in the last thirty seconds? Now this it. sounds fucking dope. Woo! You got the violin? Alright. Yes! Woo! Get him! Oh yes, Yo. I heard this joint. I haven't heard this one. I haven't heard this joint. This is the This is the fourth single. Bad friend, man. We got way. Bad So the girl played him all his money. Fucking got him, man. <laughs> she got him. And he's got a ticket yeah. to Lovers Lane movie. And he just missed her. Oh. He's like, damn! I couldn't get shit! <laughs> damn! That's a funny video. Well, he kicked his fucking sandal up, I think. <laughs> oh, man. You Whoa, know what? Uh, that's good. Yeah. I feel like that's the one. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm saying, I'm loving that beat. Yeah. That beat is smooth and he's just rolling on there like. And, oh man, that video was funny as hell. Definitely one of my favorite tracks. And it's the first single I saw. So that's the only one I didn't see. I'm pretty sure I posted it, but I didn't listen to it. Okay. Um, well, I feel like the Love is Lane, like the way he got robbed in the end. You know, that's Love is Lane, man. That's Love is Lane. You know, we, you, we can. I just love he tried it first. Happen. He tried it first. It was a bit too creepy. He's like, what's up there? Hits it, meets up, and then that shit went down. Like, and there it is. All right, let's get to the next. Nearly done. Right. Right. This is the last one. This is the last one. This is the last one. Reality. Far out. It's a quick album. What? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm actually glad we did this because that was one weird album. Oh man. Um, oh. it's definitely an album you have to listen to again and again. If you don't, this is Lance Skewer, who was it? Introverted int Intermission? Introverted Intuition. I feel like if you don't like experimental music, like, just don't listen to it. <laughs> yeah. If you, if you like something different, really different, check it out. Um, I don't know if I like it or not, honestly. I like certain tracks. I, I'm, right now I'm indifferent. Oh, yeah, I'm the same. I feel like that after a lot of, a lot of other listens, and knowing, like I said, what what last what he did with this album, why he did it, then it might give me a bit more appreciation, and understanding for it. Yeah. But as I stand, there's certain tracks I like, and certain tracks I was like, mm, I, I see what he's doing though. But like at the moment, it's sitting at probably like a six and a half, seven. I've now, I've, oh, okay, that's been relatively high. I don't know. I, my score is a question mark. Like I don't have a score. <laughs> I don't. I don't know right now. He just did so like he switched it up at the one point, like you said, with like the like the Disney sounding guitar, and then it had like the Toy Spanish Story, one, man. and then he like. I've never heard an album like this, so props to Lance, man. Props I, to you for... I think for first album, what he's done is good, because a lot of what he's done with the music really complement what he's doing. But I think that when he's through tra the tracks like the one with the violin, I feel like a lot of his more stuff with the distortion going on, or with a bit more going, like when it's not the happy-so-sounding music, I feel like if he just kept to that sound, 
and was still weird with that sound throughout the whole album, it'd make more sense and I'd like it a lot more. But it, it never took to one particular sound. Yep, yep. It's not cohesive. It's not supposed to be that, cohesive. I think that's what he's trying to do as a first album is really showcase who he is and what he can do. And that leaves you wondering, I still don't know who that is. Yeah, like you're showing me that you are hugely creative. Mm -hmm. Like you know how to layer sounds. You know how to create something weird and uncomfortable and and new um, and, and do it in a way that's against the status quo and I got respect for that but I don't even know if those were his intentions like I don't that's know that's right like you think it would be as an artist but is it like maybe this is all just one big accident but I don't know we don't really hear from him he doesn't I'm gonna do some research after this and get back to you yeah, like this, next week yeah about this. this is when like re researching um, like the artist is important I enjoyed it I'm, I'm thinking about now and I, I enjoyed it start right. to finish like, yeah, yeah. I like I'm not I, I didn't love it I didn't I did not like it I, I, I was I was intrigued the whole time uh -huh. there were stages where I was falling a bit asleep yeah maybe one or two tracks but, you. but but yeah, yeah I feel you <laughs> but like I, I like what he did and I, I, I you know I'd definitely listen to this again to see what, how I feel yeah just put it on in the background man just you might fuck with it you might fuck with it Lance Skywalker introverted intuition jungle beats radio TDE really really like just giving TDE a different different sound like you know what you've got the rappers out there you've got the R&B with Susan now but this is different for TDE. If, if TDE are hiring this guy, then like, what else are they gonna do? If they get big enough, they're gonna start doing different other genres as well? I don't know. Yeah, this ain't hip hop, by the way. This is not hip hop. This is, this is to me, it's experimental r and I don't even think it's R&B. I think it's, it's a just, whole blend of shit. I experimental even, fusion? I can't even put my name on it, but. It's, uh, it's experimental? Lance, Wy Lance Skywalker. I, I just put R&B on there, because he sings throughout the whole is thing. Is that his real name? I love that name. Lance Skywalker? Ski or Sky? Oh, it's got three eyes in it. Probably. That's why I say ski, but it makes sense to say Skywalker, right? Well, just, I just could, well, I mean, what I know, like, just, just the context of, like, what I know, like, Skywalker. I probably should say Skywalker, but I just read how I just, like, Skywalker sounds better. I'm gonna call Skywalker you, sounds so much better. I'm gonna call you Skywalker. It's a fucking dope name. Yeah, until otherwise. Uh, yeah.